Requieta Law, you may know from such uh, accidental streaming jerk-off sessions as the one we saw the other day, uh, has been subsequently arrested and is now facing a drug charge and I believe possession of a controlled weapon as well. Who is Rakita Law? Rakita Law, okay, for those who don't know, Rakita Law, we'll pop this on the screen here. Rakita Law is a guy, a YouTuber, like a lawyer type person, who got famous covering the uh, Johnny Depp trial with uh, what's her face, Aqua Chick. And, um, why can't I not remember these people's names? It's, uh, who's, uh, Help help me out. Help me out. What's 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 Aquaman's girlfriend's name? It's Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. There you go. That's it. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. So we got famous covering that. It's like a law law channel type thing. Um had a bit of uh had a bit of uh uh he, he had a massive, massive spike in popularity from that one. Um he interviewed Joshua Moon during the Drop Kiwi Farms thing with Keffels, had his channel taken down briefly. At that point I stopped hearing about him, but he came back up. And uh, apparently he has not worn success very well. Let me show you something, okay? Let me show you Rakita Law during the Johnny Depp trial. This is, uh, let's see. So this... Get off of there. This is from a year ago, okay? This is from up here in the corner. Let's see if we can't get a... Here we go. So this is uh, this is Rakita Law, okay? This is Rakita Law one year ago. Okay, look at how this guy looks, okay? It's like the whole day's gotten past me. Uh, but today, okay, we are back to Johnny Depp's rebuttal. Okay. So, like, nice healthy cheeks, complexion, etc., etc. It looks like a healthy, I want to say, 30s, early 40s individual. Maybe, maybe a really good-looking 50s. Who knows? This is two, this is, uh, this is a year ago. This is one year, this is streamed one year ago. This is him now. This is the same man now. And we're going to watch this together because this is kind of sick, actually. <sighs> and by the way, in advance, my sincerest apologies. Truly. But the show must go on. So he is like, uh, so Sunday, he's like dark side legal eagle. He's like DSP legal eagle. DSP legal eagle. For those of you who know, you know what you're about to witness. And I, again, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Why is my camera so on? Oh, yeah, that's not. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on with this guy. All I know is he's had a whiskey glass in his hand with actual whiskey in it, not like cheap-ass cider water like I do, for like two years. And every single stream for two years, he's had one of those, and I think he's been refilling it. And he's gone from this to this in a year, which makes me want to pour this out, frankly. Like, dear God, that is terrifying. Hey, Sunday, why is your camera still on? Because I have no shame. I'm, I, I'm, no, I'm not going to make a joke about that. Um, it is, uh, yeah, this is, this is rough. This is a rough place to find yourself in. He's on drugs. He's on all kind of thing. I don't know what, what happened to this man, but. He somehow managed to age 
20 years in one. And like 20 years and got cancer in one. Like, I, I don't even, I don't even know. It's, it's bad. Pour that shit out? No, it's good. Screw you. Even Medicare showed up to make fun of him. I bet Medicare looks better than him right now. Medicare has been on, uh, who's had, who's been dying of cancer for the last seven years. He would make a good anti drugs, anti drinking ad. Oh, God. The worst part about it, honestly, if I may permit myself to be a little cruel, and I will, because this is an awful human being, um, he would, he would not show any mercy to, uh, it's, it's what, what kills me here is this part. It's, it's that, it's the, 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 the finger biting. It's just like, oh, okay, I can't, I can't look at it. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Okay, we're done. This segment is over. Jesus H. Christ. It's pretty fucked that in American culture, alcohol is not treated as a drug. R really, it's actually kind of funny. I remember, um... I remember Peter Hitchens, uh, who's like obsessed with drug control, talking in, in, a, in an Oxford Union debate, let me see, about uh, how he like drinks too much and whatnot. And it's like, oh, because alcohol is just kind of like the, the silly, funny, cozy hobbit drug that doesn't have any consequences. No, this shit will kill you. You don't have, you don't drink this stuff in moderation. You don't like exercise restraint, like... Oh my god. Now, I I would be very surprised if all this guy is doing is alcohol, but... Oof. Oof. You can't walk anywhere in the South without seeing at least one pack of beer somewhere. Well, here's the thing. Um, you can get, like, liver damage from any kind of alcohol. If you drink, like, beer regularly, like, if, you, if you're having, like, a significant quantity of beer every day for a long period of time, you can get cirrhosis after years. That's a thing that can happen. Um, this guy wasn't drinking beer. Rakita Law is like, he has the hard stuff. He has a glass full of the hard stuff. It is, it is whiskey. It is whatever. And that will kill you very fast. That is not meant for regular consumption like this. It'll also give you ulcers. Um, even if it doesn't, like it's, it's not, not good. Not good. No. Drink responsibly, dear children, or you will die. It's high proof whiskey. Is that what he's drinking? Let's see. Hang on. Uh, in fact, I think there's a video on it. There's a video here from two months ago. What's going on for Keto Law? Let's see if uh, this sheds some light on anything. Real quick, this is my alt channel, and my main channel is in danger. I don't care. Okay, let's see here. Images, uh, but real images, image? duh. Okay, Nick. No, is like, that? Did someone do that? Because that is that is grim. That is grim. That's like um, when my father had cancer. The right image here, this is what he looked like at the eight month mark. He made it to nine months. Uh, this is not good. This man is not well. Um, this looks like he doesn't appear jaundiced. So I don't know, but that's not, that is rough. That is, ugh. Even his camera lighting is drunk, yeah. Each 10 years, that's more than 10 years, friendo. I remember I, I, when I first did my stream with Nick, my first stream ever, Nick was like this. And I've seen him a hundred times in real life. And like, I don't feel like he looks like this Lerat at all. No, that seems like someone, that's like a, like a filter, right? I don't know, man. I feel like someone put a filter. Has he been streaming? Sometimes. Okay. I, I try to catch the shows. I try to catch the shows like often as I can. Um, People are saying it's a real image. I don't know. That that's a that's a real image. Okay, these guys don't know anything. That's fine. We're done here. There's there's n nobody knows what what is going on with them. Like 
he could have cancer or something, but I, I don't, I don't think there's any evidence that he's, he has cancer. I think he's just descended into alcoholism. Apparently he had a divorce or something. Minnesota-based lawyer and online legal analyst Nick Rekieta. Is it Rekieta or Rekieta? I think it's Rekieta. Rekieta is facing a drug charge in Candiohi County. That's fun to say. Candiohi County. Rekieta was arrested Thursday along with his wife Kayla and a fellow online personality. Prosecutors filed charges against Rekieta and his wife on Friday for second-degree possession, child endangerment, and a gross misdemeanor firearm charge. According to the charges... Law enforcement attempted to execute a search warrant on May 23rd at Rekieta's home in Spicer and is greeted by a girl who would not let them inside. After Rekieta refused to provide the door code, law enforcement used the door ram to get inside and found Kayla, Imholt, and four juveniles inside. Law enforcement proceeded to search the master bedroom and bathroom where they allegedly found a variety of drug paraphernalia, including three sm Oh my god! Three baggies. Three small baggies that tested positive for cocaine. Eight green tablets that tested positive for ketamine. And a digital scale. And several other items that tested positive for cocaine. Charges claim. Authorities maintain... Sorry, author, authorities also found a Sig Sauer AR with several magazines and loose ammunition under the bed. A spent shell casing on the bedroom floor and a located additional firearms and ammunition in the garage, according to court records. Was he shooting his gun inside his streaming room? Or inside his bedroom, I guess? Police took Ricky Ed and his wife, Kayla, into custody, and he told law enforcement that he and his wife stayed in the master bedroom, where law enforcement claimed to find most of the drug paraphernalia, but allegedly refused to answer questions about the cocaine, according to court records. Before his arrest, some online users had raised concerns about Rekieta's health this week, sharing a clip of him appearing to doze off during a stream. Oh, that's not all he did. That is, that is, that is putting it mildly. For those, um, for those of you who have not been, uh, let's say, uh, blessed with the knowledge of what happened to Nick Rekieta, uh, let me show you exactly what, what Rekieta did, Okay. This is, this is, this is Nick Rekieta dozing off on stream. Oh God, I regret, I regret, I'm so sorry. Oh, that is rancid, I'm not even looking. I do not need this in my life, my apologies chat, I'm so sorry. Why is my camera so on? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Law enforcement noted Ricky had had several injuries to his arm at the time of his arrest. They described the injuries as sores that are common with controlled substance users, charges said. Ricky had, who owns a law firm... Uh, based in Spicer, Minnesota, saw his online following skyrocket during the pandemic as it covered cases including Kyle Rittenhouse's trial and Johnny Depp's lawsuit against Amber Heard. He has more than 150,000 followers on Twitter and nearly 450,000 subscribers on YouTube. They're making their first court appearance on Friday morning. Well, Keffels, you're not that bad. It could be, it could be so much worse. So, so much worse. Is he doing what I think he's doing? No. This is a Christian channel, sir. <laughs> 